Hello my dear crafters, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute different shaped card. So it's basically a die and I'll show you the die that you can use to decorate in so many different ways and I'm going to show you how to use the die to create this card. Actually the technique is very very nice because you can use it once you learn you can actually use it with the dies that you have to make cards in whatever shape you want. So I'm going to first show you some, I've been playing with it, I'm going to show you the dies, I'm going to show you some of the options that you have with all the dies that come in this set. Let me show you what it looks like look at that it's all this is one set only <clears throat> and I will have the link below because they don't have many left it's on Amazon and it's so so affordable it's like eleven dollars ten dollars all of this and you actually get to make three sizes you have three sizes and I'll show you you have this the foam it's kind of a foam these are all decoration you have this these are uh, different types of closing and I don't know how to call that um, the tap I don't know anyway the way you close the the, uh, the cup <clears throat> so all of this is just one set and it's very inexpensive so I'll have the link below in case you want the dies but let me show you the different things that I've been playing with it you can of course you can make a beautiful shaker with that so I've made this one here I use this snow um, <coughs> snowflake with this little tiny bird. That's a shaker that I'm going to use in a card. So here's another one. You have all these spoons that are so nice. With the other, uh, well, I forgot the name of this. My goodness. Anyway, with this kind of uh, round top, it's very different. So you can put it, you know, behind the cup like this so that's another idea and you have all these options I've been playing with it a lot so I have a lot of options to show you just to give you an ideas on the kind of paper that you can use I love my gold you know me I love adding gold so there you go that's another idea I really think that it looks better when you use these the spoons but you can use like a pattern paper and just mix and match with with the top it can be white you look you have the hearts that come in the in the kit look at this one I used the paper that had foiling and the smaller one let me show you some of the smaller ones look at these Aren't they the cutest things? And you can use these, of course, as decorations, as like ephemera and just die cuts to decorate your cards and your paper crafts. But you have so many. Oh, look at the foam. I use the foam here just so you would see what it looks like. There is another one. Here's another one with the spoon. So it's just endless. I love it. So I decided to make though let me I did I show you yeah I showed you this so I'm going to show you how to make the card and this technique guys is perfect for any shapes of dies that you can use so very easy what you do I'm going to use this one here so I already have the top that you're going to glue on the in the front of the card and all you need just I'm going to give you like the math of it just so you can use with any dies you have so you basically you need two times the, the height plus I add a little bit more paper like a quarter of an inch just to have some wiggle room and then again just one quarter more than <clears throat> the width of your die so in this case here it is let me just measure seven and three quarters by three so what you do is once you cut the paper you're going to fold it fold it in half because you know that it's long enough for the die and here's, here's the trick what you don't want this part to cut because you have to be able 
to open your card like this so this is not this is not glued so it's just one piece right so it's very easy guys all you need to do is to make sure that the cutting part of the die the top is just outside of the paper like this you don't want it to be to cover the paper because it will cut so that's all you do and just to make sure that it stays in place because it kind of hits the paper so when it hits the paper you know that that's where you're going to stop and just to make sure that it doesn't move I just use some little bit of um, tape here so I'm gonna bring my cutter bag and I am going to cut the paper so very easy and you use it with the dies that you have at hand doesn't have to be this one but if you are interested in this one I will have the link below so see it stayed outside the paper it didn't cut it I'm going to remove the tape let me get this out of here so I remove the tape you remove the die and it cut everywhere but the top I actually didn't go all the way <laughs> with the die I didn't I didn't go all the way so see I didn't cut here let me get some scissors just a minute sorry about that so I didn't cut did I go all the way? I don't think I did, but anyway, I can always can always use scissors here because it's half cut actually. So there you go. So that's all you need. See? So it's one piece. And of course, since you already have this, all you need to do now is to glue it. So it's very easy to make. So the other day I was doing this with, for example, I had a heart a die that was a heart and I did the same the same process it's the same technique just to make sure and I have a glue that is totally stuck right now okay came out came out some videos I'm telling you okay so there you go and you know what the good news about this die also is it fits an A2 just a regular envelope I'll show you that you don't have to make a uh, special envelope so all you need is to just align it align the top what I do is I just hold the sides here and just press it down and you're done very easy to make very quick very nice technique I'm sure you have some dies that you can do this technique with and just make a different kind of card different shaped right so I have a regular envelope here just to show you it fits perfectly so you don't need to even make an envelope for it so I'm going to show you again the die the die set there you are it's a great die set to have really I've been using it a lot lid finally the word came it's it's a lid okay so thank you so much guys let me give you some more on my shaker a shaker is the favorite part of it I always love to make shakers so thank you so much for being here with me again I hope I gave you one more idea we're all like full force making presents and gifts for friends and I hope I give you one more idea on how to use the dies that you have or to buy this one thank you so much you guys have a good day Thank you.